Hey folks, how are you doing? This is Brian again. Anyway, so uh, here's what happened. I went ahead and I moved up from the sign. I moved up approximately, oh, I don't know, 100 yards. And the reason I did that, the, the strict reason I did that, because uh, this worker guy that pulled in there wherever his little garage was, what happened was is he, he let out a couple of dogs, and they, they weren't even bothering me, but one of them was a freaking pit bull. I looked at them. Both of them were black dogs. I don't know what the other one was. Might have been a... Uh, whatever um some kind of a pit bull whatever um but anyway so it was like a pit bull or something and i just decided hey you know i didn't want to be in they're not going to come down the road and if they do i'm going to gas both of them so anyway uh i just thought it's smart instead of standing there out like a th sore thumb waiting there hitchhiking i've got Seneca's a cool little town. It's 52 miles up. Marysville's 21 up. I'll get out of here today when we're there, and if I don't, I'll camp here for the night, or I'll get a motel. Either freaking way, I'll be okay. I'm not worried about it. And, uh, also, I'm trying to think how many... I got about two, 31 minutes of uh, filming time left on my, before my storage is out. So that's kind of cool. At least I got an idea. It tells what how much I got on videos I've been doing. <laughs> but anyway, um, what I was going to tell you today is... Um, I don't have much luck today at all. Um, these people are passing by. There is traffic on this route here. 36 is well-traveled, but it's really not well-traveled. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of traffic. Hopefully it'll pick up. It's about 9.30. I've been out here an hour. About an hour. So, uh, hopefully I can get a ride out of this son of a bitch, man. I just want to stand here all freaking day, man. I don't want to be sitting out here. That's how this 36, I will recommend, if you are going through Kansas, I'd stay off 36 here. If you, if, you know, the only reason I'm going because I know a couple towns up the road here, they're okay. And uh, I can keep going 81 miles. I can make it to Hiawatha. Kansas, and there's a uh, Indian run motel there. He's pretty cool. I could probably get a room for the night. And uh, we're looking at rain and everything. And uh, I'm going to go the route that I did before a long time ago. Um, I did this 36 here all the way. And uh, I did it. And I, I went north into Nebraska City. And then from Nebraska City, I went to, uh, what was it? It was, I think, Nebraska City, somewhere around there. And uh, I cut over on two there, these small little towns that hit 59 up. I've had some really good uh, luck with 59. So, anyway, uh, I'm just uh, trying to get right out to a dive-ass town here. There's, no, there's a room for rent. Uh, tonight, but you know something, I'll cue that the last bit. Uh, these fuckers in Kansas here, there's something else, I'll tell you what. I've had some good luck, but then you're going to run into some, this hitchhiking on this 36 here, man, if I can get a ride all the way to Seneca today. That'll put me 30 miles away from Hiawatha. Either way. So I'll be okay, man. We'll see how things go here. I'm just hitching it like I said. I'm hitching it right now. You know? Hitching it like a fool, you know? Fucking trucks, everything. Ain't nobody stopping, man. This shit sucks, dude. I don't like this at all. I'm not liking this. If I had a motel room for the day, I could probably go clean some windows today and make about 50, 60 bucks. I could. Um, I need to try to conserve every dollar I got because when I get up to South Dakota there, I want to try to, you know, <clears throat> gamble a little bit. If I can.
this is a dead end here, dude. This this sucks. This is a suck ass highway here. I don't like this highway at all. I've been freaking. I just didn't want to stand in front of them dogs there, man. These freaking dogs, you got to be real careful, man. You really do. You got to really watch what's going on around you. Situational awareness. This is an ass backwards world, man. So, hopefully, I'll make it. I sure hope I do. Can't get any damn, any freaking uh, help at all, man. This shit sucks, dude. I'm telling you, it really does. Waving at me and shit, give me a frickin' ride, dude. Fuck. Why wave? You know? Yeah, man. Give me a frickin' ride. These damn, these damn semi trucks, man, shit. You know, you think, you know, it just, it just depends, man. It really depends on a lot of things, you know? It just it does. Variables at hitchhiking depends on location, timing, and everything. So, didn't even want to look my way. Isn't that something? I'll tell you. I'll tell you, this is this is Kansas Kansas cocksucking territory for real. I'm not shitting you. It really is, man. It's just shit. Just amazes me. I've had about a hundred cars go by. I mean, I fucking ain't got a ride. I'm just putting it on the line, man. This, this is just a bunch of shit. It is. This, I'm going to be here. This is going to be a bitch getting on this 36 here. But it is what it is. I'll be fine. I'll be good by tonight. I'm not worried about a damn thing. The thing is, it's just standing, 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 standing. Frickin' on and on. Just waiting, standing, waiting, standing. Shit just a pain in the frickin' ass is what it is. God. This gets somewhere we're right close to a campground. If I gotta go ahead and set up a camp, I'm sitting pretty freaking good, regardless. You know? Ain't no traffic today. You ain't, there ain't shit. Roads right here, man. Nothing. Damn thing. Nothing. You know? I mean, it's like one car every a slew of cars, like three or four cars every five minutes. I mean, it's not. It's not. And everybody's turning this Dollar General here. There's a Dollar General, you know, right over here. The, the uh, as you can see, Dollar General's right there. There's a short stop gas station up there. If I wanted to do 15, I'd have to walk probably a couple frickin' miles up to go north again on 15. K-15 seemed like a pretty well-traveled highway, and you'd think that this would be well-traveled. Well, shit, it's not. Oh. Got a frickin' golden sticking All these people got dogs around really got to watch your shit. I mean, you got to, man. You were, depending on where you're hitching out of, you got to watch your shit. Just like I just made a smart move. Uh, he left. That guy left there and he let two dogs out for a while. I don't know if he let them out to shit or whatever he let them out to do, but it is what it is. So. These work trucks, these utility trucks and work trucks, they're not going to give you a ride. They can't company trucks and they're pretty much watched and monitored if they stop for something they, they they can't give you a ride so but it's a decent little town it's cool i'm hitching it man shit i've been hitching it i don't know how many i've hitched like all over the united states 
but uh, hey, man, I'm gonna do a circuit. I'm gonna do a freaking circuit, man, and uh, do what I gotta do, man. I'll make it, but it's gonna be a bit. I wanna get back up into Minnesota, though. I'm gonna just go ahead and do a a long route, see how it goes, and uh, that's how it's gonna go, you know. And, uh, And these people around here, they just look at you like you're, you're fucking nothing. That's how they do. They just look at you like you're a scab in a dog's ass, you know. That's that's how they do it. A lot of these, you get in a lot of these towns, they ain't no good. Hell, I got water. I ain't getting rid of this son of a bitch. I'm going to keep this. This will last me all for it. That's what I needed. And I got a little smaller bottle of water. I keep some Dasani. But uh, I'm all right, man. I'll be just fine. I'm not going to trip on shit. But I'm going to let you guys go, man. Um... I'll do some more videos as I go down the road. So I've got about 31 minutes left of uh, filming time on here that I can do. But I did want to just talk to you and uh, tell you, you know, what's going on. And uh, so I'm sitting here on US 36 in Kansas, working my way through. I'm past mid-Kansas, pretty much. Uh, I don't know, 30, 40 miles, but I'm on 36. <clears throat> and, you know, if I had half a mind, I'd hitchhike to Belleville. And then frickin' go north on 81 again. Do that frickin' 81. If I really had any sense to do that, I could do that. But whatever I elect to do, I'll do. I'm not going to worry about it, man. I just want to go this route. I went this route before uh, when it was, you know, quite rainy and cold out. And uh, I did pretty damn good. So I'm going to go this route again. And, you know, before, you know, I had a little help. I had a little cash on me. So now it's a little different. I don't have much cash on me. Uh, there are people going to, uh, <clears throat> you know, Marysville from here. They are. But chances of getting a ride are probably going to be slim unless you catch somebody that's cool, that's hitchhiked before, older guy or whatever. It's going to be kind of a hit and miss today. And uh, I hate to have to... Um, this weather's looking really good, but I just know, man, tomorrow what the weather says, all week it's supposed to be freaking rainy. So I'm going to be looking on my phone quite a bit and checking out this weather, how this weather's going to be over the next uh, week here in different areas. Because it might be just, you know, go 100 miles north somewhere, just get as far as I can, then I'll have to deal with this rain and, and possible thunderstorms, you know. That's kind of what I'm looking at. So we'll see how things go, man. We'll see how these rides go, and we'll just play it by ear day by day. Now, that's about all we can do for now. Um, so I'm just hoping to get a ride out of here. Just at least get up to this next town. That'll be a you know hour away from where I was today. Um, we'll just play it like that, man. Um, that's all we can freaking do. Um, that's it. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'll get back with you. Bye.